Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, many countries which operate the Su-30 fighter jet have started approaching the Indian Air Force through the Russian government, to learn and study the tactics used by the Indian Air Force in the recent aerial engagement on 27 February 2019, and the Indian Air Force might brief a few ally countries in the coming months. The Indian Su-30 aircraft used its onboard Israeli jammers to its full advantage, to jam four American Amram that were fired by Pakistani F-16 fighter jet. With superior pilot training and tactics, the Indian pilots are heavily engaged with Western fighter types in joint exercises all over the world, which also came handy to outmaneuver such a modern air-to-air -air system. According to latest reports, China is exploring to build two naval ship versions, one is a high-speed submersible surface ship, while the second is more similar to a traditional submarine. The submersible surface ship's hull will be submerged underwater for stealth operations, and only the bridge and few other parts of the ship will be above the waterline, thus reducing the radar cross-section, while on the other hand, the new submarine could go really fast on the surface. Japan has the largest fleet of F-15 Eagle fighter jets outside of the United States, and the Japanese Air Force is looking to sell the older half of its F-15 Eagle fleet, to pay for 100 F-35 stealth fighter jets. Roughly half of the F-15 fighter jets have received upgrades including more powerful APG-63 radars, infrared search and track systems, and Link-16 data links which are interoperable with the US Air Force, and upgraded F-100 turbofans with digital engine controls. Japan has also announced, that the F-15 will be compatible with the AGM-158 stealth cruise system, which is capable to target air defense radars from over 370 kilometers away. The Defense Ministry has rejected a French media report, that a subsidiary of Reliance Communications had received tax exemptions as part of a secret deal, before signing of the Rafale Agreement between India and France. The ministry also said, that the report was drawing a false connection between tax exemption to a private company and the purchase of Rafale fighter jets, and neither the period of tax concession, nor the subject matter of concession, are related to the procurement of Rafale fighter jets. The Reliance Communications has also rejected the media report, as the tax matter is almost 10 years old from the year 2008 and it had been settled much before the Indian government decided to purchase Rafale aircraft from the French company Dassault Aviation. Indian Defence Updates also found, that Apple also reached an agreement with French authorities over paying back taxes, which explains that the Reliance tax waiver has no connection to the aircraft deal with France. According to latest reports, the three services including the Indian Army, Indian Air Force and Indian Navy, will jointly plan and execute all operations in the future. The Indian Navy chief also addressed the Army commanders, and focused on jointness and challenges in maritime domain. The decision has been taken at the ongoing Indian Army Commanders Conference, and it was deliberated to reprioritize the existing requirements, to ensure that the resources allocated for force modernization and capacity building be ensured by optimizing the allotted budget, increase the content of indigenization in force modernization, and the state of existing infrastructure at the northern borders, and it has been decided to pursue these projects on higher priority. Oh, my God.